we always had a dream, a dream of one day growing and producing wine. It was 1988. We started sailing and we were on our way into the Mediterranean. Once the boat got into the, um, the Portuguese coastline, we drove around and found this. There was not a tree, there was nothing green in sight. There's no water, just a few very simple buildings. Hans just looked around and said, this is absolutely beautiful. This is it. He could see what we could really transform this into something. We had wheat and uh, sunflower. We had uh, tomatoes for to the factory. We were the first to do sugar beet here. We were known throughout the country as melon producers. But that helped pay, pay the bills until the, until the wines were in bottle and ready to be sold. We made our wines in a style that was a little bit different than they're doing here. So we decided, okay, maybe be a better idea to send our wines to foreign competitions. So we sent our wines to the Wine Challenge in London, to the wine competitions in Bordeaux and in Brussels. And we won, started winning gold medals, so we knew we were doing something right. In the beginning, we did all the work ourselves, and the kids were out next to us. Our children were born and raised here. And since they could walk, they've been involved in out and helping us in the field and in the winery because that's where the action was. So this is where it really started and that is this five hectares here. We started in the early 90s, uh, 91. We have under our control 160 hectares. We planted some varieties which does very well here. We have Argonnes, we have Trinquedera, we have uh, Trigue National. Uh, these are our, our main grapes. And then, of course, Syrah. I like the style of wine we produce here. That's I like a, a fruity, um, full-bodied wine with, with made from ripe fruit. We have some varieties which are very spicy and very unique, like the Triga National. I must admit, Triga National is one of my favorite varieties. We don't like too much uh, wood. We believe that it is very important to keep quality. My name is Hugo Almeida and I belong to the analogical team of Cortima and uh, we go for a small tour of a winery. We have different tanks. We have closed tanks, open top tanks, we have Ganymedes. Depending on the quality of the grapes, we go into a different tank. The tank arrived yesterday and we, we have already a very good color. Here we have a work of a pulsar. It's a tube with um, a bubble of hair. This gives us a little bit of oxygen to the trees, it's good, and release the CO2 in the, in the fermenters. Here we have our micro vinifications. If you have good soft tannins on the berries, this is the best way to get them on the wine, that's for sure. gentle treatment of the grapes. You crush but not too much so you don't extract too many green and too many tannins and you have a soft 
extraction from the compounds in the grapes. This is where we, uh, we do our experiments and uh, do all the things which we, we can't do in big volumes. You have to have a, a fixed team here who is not involved in anything else, just experimental grinding. We are in the place I love the most. We are in the cellar, in the basement, where we keep our barrels, our best wines. Uh, in order to achieve the wines that we are trying to make in Kortshima, what we try to do the most here is to respect what we pick, to respect the fruit. So we want to uh, express on the bottle what we have produced on the field. Uh, so the oak that we use, and of course we use, we use top class uh, oak, uh, is more to help to express the character of it, to bring up some complexity on it, of course, and to build up the structure of the wines. We try and we taste and we taste, we taste, and then we taste again uh, to try to understand if we are achieving the character of wine that we want. A lot of things we do here, it's also within the family. It's Hans's cousin, she's, she's a Danish lady who's um, very a very qualified designer and she's actually um, been in the Danish design school. She um, has designed the graphics and her daughter is a fine artist who paints and they reflect a lot of the warm colors of Alentejo and the Alentejo countryside. We welcome visitors to come here. Um, we've got a beautiful setting to, so they can sit on our terrace here and enjoy a glass of wine and we give them a tour into the wineries so they can see all the technical stuff if they're interested in that. And we do even do events during the year. We, we, do, we have a concert, a, a music concert for our winery club. We do lunches and dinners during the year and invite people, encourage them to come and see how to make wines in the Alentejo. It's a way Since of life. It's a, start, it's a, it's a way <coughs> of life for us, yeah. So. That's a beautiful thing with being a producer of wine, is that you can always make it better. And that is, of course, our aim. And the challenge. Yeah. Yes.